Do they support Zionists? Or is this just music? Assalamu alaikum, 안녕하세요, Tao Kim. So today I will talk about a song, uh, the hottest song nowadays, APT Apartment by Lose, Blackpink, and the superstar Bruno Mars. So nowadays, this is one of the hottest songs, but there is one controversy. It's about Zionist. So some people think this song is related to Zionist. Do they support Zionist? Or is this just music? Or is this song against the value of Islam? Uh, in this video, let's talk about the real reason and why is there a deeper meaning of this song, not just misunderstanding. So please watch it till the end. Then let's go. So where did the problem start? The start of the problem is Bruno Mars had a performance 2023 in Tel Abab, Israel and celebrated the Jewish holiday. Hello, mommy. And he seems like, like he enjoyed like Israeli and even sang with Hebrew. And this seems to Muslims, he is with Zionist people. So although the BDS movement against Israel, he was with them. So this is the start of the problem. It's like similar with uh, the Korean Muslim Ayana support Korean president who is friend with Netanyahu of Israel and followed Joe Biden, US president who helped Israel. So it's like similar thing. I will tell you about the detail next time. So the performance of the Bruno Mars, it can be not just a like simple music event. It could be the ignoring the oppression of Palestinians. So do you think it's too much or do you think I'm a too sensitive or something? But let's think about this. If we still consume and buy the Israeli products and enjoy the performance and music of Israel, or we support people who still with Israel, then it will be growing like snowball. Just see, right now, we are in the world which is dominated by US and Israel because they have the wealth and power of the world. So you can think just not consuming their things is like small stuff, but only this small stuff can change the world. So solidarity with Israel is not just a culture act, but an act of the oppression of Palestinians. And even if they have no intention of that, this should not be justified as an art. And actually, individually, I don't think they are Zionist. Maybe they could just enjoy the concert. And even like Lose Blackpink, they have no related with Zionist, as I know. And even and even though their music and performance is not it's not like totally halal, but I still really like their positive messages. And especially as a Korean, I'm proud of Lose because she make Korean so proud. But but we are Muslim. We could never ignore our brothers and sisters who need help. Do you still think this is just a music? I don't think so. When music and culture crosses the boundaries of the art, we should consider about the message behind of that. So this is not just a simple misunderstanding. Muslims should be able to strongly criticize artists who collaborate with Israel and we should get into the suffering of Palestine and don't ignore about the human rights of them. We all have the same responsibilities. Don't ignore them and speak loud about this issue. Small things can change the world. Okay, then thank you so much for watching today's video. And please comment what do you think about these issues. Okay, then thank you so much for watching my video. Take care and be safe. Alhamdulillah. Maasalamah. Kamsamita.